is a God of purpose. And whatever God does is on the basis of purpose. So, sometimes, when some things happen to you that we don't understand, we begin to complain because we don't understand God's purpose and agenda. But I realize that for a man who is in the hand of God, for a man who is a child of God, for a man who is on the path of purpose, for a man who heaven have vested interest in, everything that work, even if it is not according to God's plan, God will realign it to position it according to his plan. And that is why the Bible said in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 28, say, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. So listen to me, child of God, it is not what you go through that matters. What matters and determines your outcome out of what you go through is who you are. It's your connectivity to God. It's the love in your heart. For a man who don't know God, for a man who don't have God, for a man who don't love God, anything can happen anyhow. But for a man who loves God, a man who is called according to his purpose according to the purpose of God in his life all things work it together for his own good even when the devil mean it for evil God turn it around for your own good just like it happened in the life of Joseph his brother out of envy his brother out of jealousy they hated him they sold him as a slave in the land of Egypt but they didn't know they were setting him up to fulfill destiny am I communicating here today because if you are a Joseph who will end up in the palace before the palace you must go to prison and in order to go to prison you must end up in the house of Potiphar and in the house of Potiphar the wife of Potiphar will set you up in order to end up in the house of Potiphar your brothers will hate you and sell you as a slave in order for them to oh my god am I communicating here today they sold him into prison into slavery as a piece of material but they didn't know they were vehicles of peoples they were vehicles of fulfillment of destiny if they didn't sell him he would not have ended in Potiphar's house if he didn't end in Potiphar's house Potiphar's wife would not have seen him if Potiphar's wife didn't see him she will not have lied against him if she didn't lie against him he would not have ended in prison if he didn't go to prison he would not have been recommended. If he was not recommended, he would not have ended in the palace because the prophecy was about the palace. All things work together. Even when it was meant for evil, God rearranges. God rearranges because we have a God who is a destiny rearranger. When the devil sets you up for evil, God how knows how to rearrange your life and make it work out for your own God. Listen to me, child of God. Our God is a mathematician he understand integration he understand differentiation he understand calculus when they use the wrong formula he invokes an almighty formula yes, to work out the answer for your destiny yeah. I don't know who is under the sound of my voice who have been buffeted by the devil who has been at the backside of life who has been at the desert of destiny there is grace coming upon you that will work all things for your God. There is grace coming upon you Amen. that will mesmerize the devil, that will confuse the devil, yes, and end you in your palace. Yes, if you're in a shower, that'll be like thunder.